Uh, after recording this video almost eight times, I swear if this one does not come out well, I will just upload it like that. Honestly, what the hell? So before you go on the mission that you're about to go on, you need to address a few issues. Now, if you're not new to gaming, you know that in games, for you to be able to kill enemies easily, you need to be a higher level than them. If your level is lower than that of your enemies, you're most likely going to die. That same logic applies in Genshin Impact. Now, in Genshin Impact, there are two ways that I know to level up your characters. One is to go around the map killing enemies and completing missions and you gain little bits of XP. Another way is gotten by going to your character screen. I don't know the shortcut for you. It's C on keyboard and mouse. Then you would come down here to a character who has not yet maxed out their level. You would click level up. Then you'll see three books here. The first one is called Wanderer's Advice. It gives only 1000 EXP. The second one is called Adventurer's Advice. It gives 5000 EXP. And the third one is Hero's Wit. It gives 20,000 XP. Hero's Wit is the one you'll find yourself using the most. You get this from chests and ley lines. You also get the other ones from chests and ley lines. Sometimes you get it in some domains too. So keep that in mind. Now, before you head off on this mission, I want you to level up your main DPS to level 20. What do I mean by main DPS? Your main DPS is going to be the character who stays on the field the most, or rather who stays fighting enemies the most. And that character is the one that will do more of these um, regular attacks. And sometimes they'll also do their E skill and sometimes their ultimate skill as well. While the other characters will just come into the field, do their E or their ultimate or both, and then go off the field so that you can continue um, doing damage as your main DPS. So on this account, my traveler is my main DPS, which is why her level is level 20 out of 20. Now, how do you choose your DPS? Before I talk about how to choose your DPS, let me talk about characters. If you go to your pause menu and you click character archive, you will see every single character that Genshin Impact has at the moment. Currently on this list in version 3.0, it's 51 that you'll see here, but it's actually 52 characters. There was a special promotion character called Aloy from Horizon Zero Dawn that was launched and very few people got her. I got her in my main account. But then if you come here, you notice different kinds of characters. Characters are grouped into two different categories. They are grouped by stars and they are grouped by weapons. By stars, we talk about five star characters and four star characters. Five star characters are of course the characters that are most overpowered, basically. Most of them are mostly overpowered. Even though there are five stars that are better as supports than main DPSs. So don't think that because a character is five star, that character is automatically a DPS. That's not the case. So, how can you distinguish a 5 star from a 4 star? If you look at the background of these images, of these character portraits, you notice that this character has a golden background while this character has a purple background. A purple background indicates a 4 star character, a golden background indicates a 5 star character. Now how you choose your DPS is 100% up to you. If you see a character and you like how they look, you can choose that character as your DPS. There are people who use Noel because some of them are into maids and some of them do see her potential. There are people who use Lisa 
as their mean there are people who will use kaya as their mean there are people who will use amber as their main character it doesn't matter who you use some people actually use sucrose you may not understand what these things are you may not understand how important these characters are or how bad they are considered in the community but what i will tell you is never choose a character because people say you should choose that character choose the character because you like the character nothing more now if you're free to play at this point you will have um lisa kaya amber and the traveler noel you will get in the next video if you like noel then you can just skip to the next video then after you've finished up with that video you come back here if not if you're a whale if you want to be a whale skip to the next video now that you've chosen your main dps this character you don't even need to worry about what kind of damage they do just choose the character because you like them that is all that matters but because i know there are going to be some people who still want to know some very good characters to get let me list some of the meta characters meta refers to the overpowered characters we have hazel we have Kale. these are four star characters that i'm naming right now we have kujo sara is a good support we have yan fei we have rosaria we have facial we have bennett as long as you do not send his constellations to constellation six and we have shang ling and beidou these are some four star characters that are very very overpowered now for five star characters you have diluc you have mona you have keqing venti can be used as a main dps but sometimes he supports there's zhongli there is xiao i'm waiting for his character to pop up there's ganyu there's hu tao there's kamisato ayaka and there's kaidehara kazuha also include the Raiden Shogun, Yeimiko. Shanha is a fairly decent support. Then Kamisato Ayato and Yelan. I don't know about Tignari. I haven't seen anything on Tignari yet. I think he may be good because he's a Dendro character. And Dendro characters as of version 3.0 are overpowered. So he may also be very good those are just some of the meta characters some characters that you use and the community considers them overpowered so just keep that in mind oh yes i forgot to mention mona mona yes mona now if you're not use, if you don't want to use these four characters here skip to the next video shit after you're done with that video come back to this video and then do what i'm about to do now for your main dps you want to level them up to level 20 how you would do that is you would come here you level them up you choose heroes wit first if you have heroes wit you keep pressing the plus icon until it shows max when you see max written here subtract by one press confirm then go to the wondrous advice and just press that one until it shows max then confirm the reason this is done is because if you're leveling up your characters and let's say the amount of experience required for your character to go to level 20 is just remaining 50 and you use this it will use 50 out of this and leave 19,950. That 19,950 is not returned to you. It's gone. Like, it's absolutely gone. You don't get them anymore. So, keep that in mind. And by the way, I also forgot. These are some other places where you can get 
all of these heroes with heroes with is the one you should focus on the most the other two you will get them when you keep on opening chests in the world now after you've gotten your main character your dps from now on i'll be using main character and dps interchangeably anytime i say main character don't think of the character you created just think of the character that you've chosen to be your dps let's move over to weapons now earlier in the video i talked about classification of characters by stars and by weapons when we classify characters under weapons we have characters that use regular swords like the traveler and kaya there are characters who use bows like um amber there are characters who use catalysts catalyst users are basically spell casters let me demonstrate all they do is just cast spells that is all there are a few exceptions to this like hazel hazel does not cast spells he does physical attacks instead and after catalyst users you have claymore users claymore users use these gigantic swords that require two hands to use let me get noel out into the party give me a second okay so for noel you can see she's using this gigantic sword and that's her charged attack these are the characters that you have these are the different kinds of characters you have now after you've leveled up your main character to level 20 you want to if they're a sword user like the traveler you want to switch their weapon to this the traveler's handy sword you should have this now if you watch the previous video and you have a better weapon like a four star weapon then put that on your character if you're free to play and a dolphin then follow these steps get the traveler's handy sword put it on your main dps then carry this two star weapon and put it on your second character if you have a second character in your team that uses a sword in my case i have kaya <clears throat> so in kaya's case i would then give him this and then i will put this on the traveler let me show let me just showcase that so i'd have this on the traveler now anytime you see a good weapon make sure to lock it this will make sure that it's not used as experience for when you want to level up your swords which is what i'm about to go into now now when you equip the traveler's handy sword on your main character optionally you can press enhance it will take you to the weapons upgrade screen and you see all of these empty squares now if you click any of these empty squares a tab will appear it shows you the different kinds of materials that you can use to level up your weapon you can decide to use other weapons to level up your weapons or you can choose to use enhancement ores there are three types of enhancement ores from top to bottom there are mystic enhancement ores these give 10,000 xp there are fine enhancement ores which give 2,000 xp and then there are regular enhancement ores which just give 400 xp the ones you will use the most are these ones but i wouldn't recommend you use that use the fine enhancement ores because i'm sure you'll have more of them then all you just need to do is keep increasing this number till it gets to plus nine that will increase the level of that weapon to level 10. after that is done and you then make sure you switch this one as well then if your main character is a bow character and you don't have a four star bow then you can use this bow it's called the slingshot if you don't have the slingshot then don't worry just use a two star bow which is what i have here but i'm going to switch over to this because this is one of the best bows in the game then for catalyst users if you're following me you'll have a one star um catalyst choose the magic guide because i doubt you'll have this until you go to the next video so choose the magic guide and you're good to go the next thing you need to do for your main dps 
is go to the artifact section now for the artifact section it will look something like this you won't have any artifacts on and the red symbols just click this one that has a feather oh my goodness click this one that has a feather and put any feather at all if you have a two star feather put that put that over the one star feathers but then one thing i will recommend for you is put on the two star um feathers then come over to where you see this flower and grab any flower of your choice it doesn't matter just make sure you put a flower on them for your cup this place where you see a cup what you're looking for in your cup is elemental damage so for your cups always make sure that you have elemental damage what i mean by element what I mean by elemental damage is something like this. This is called dendro damage bonus. So any dendro attacks I do are boosted by 4.2%. In this case, for Lisa, I have an electro damage bonus cup. And for Amber, I have a pyro damage cup. I don't have an animal damage cup for my traveler. So I just carried elemental mastery. For your crown and your sand, you want to focus on these stats in this order crit damage is the most important i have crit damage on my traveler if you don't see crit damage look for crit rate if you don't see crit rate look for elemental mastery which is what i did here if you don't see elemental mastery then you can look for something like energy recharge if you don't have any of these five things that I mentioned, then you can put any random thing at all. Be defense, HP. But then I would highly recommend that if you see something that has attack, then put that instead. Because that will boost the amount of attack you do in the game. After you've set up all these artifacts, one other thing I want you to do is go over to your feather, that feather that you had. Go to enhance you see the same tab as that of the weapon enhancement for artifact enhancements you don't have any ores or any special things that can increase the level of your artifacts the only thing that you can do to increase the level of your artifacts is to feed other artifacts into them if you see an artifact that you like and you put it on a character lock it always don't forget to lock any artifacts that you see that are good for example this crit damage um circlets that i have i locked the two of them because crit damage is very very rare to come by Ooh, i have another crit damage what the hell <laughs> okay so that's that after you've done all of these you are ready now since I've talked about characters, let me talk about team compositions, the kinds of attacks they would do. So now, you would want to create your team to be a team that can do the most elemental reactions before your main DPS comes on the team. Before your main DPS comes on the field. So in this case, like with this team composition I have here, I would never use this, but what I would do is... I would bring out amber i would do her e skill then i do a charged attack catch set them on fire go with kaya oh my goodness do my e skill and also my q skill if i have it go to lisa do my e skill and also my q skill if i have it then i would then switch to noel maybe do her e skill for her shield and then i would start to do my damage after a while i repeat this process now for you you don't have noel yet unless you go and watch the other video first then i created a team for you and i put them in the order in which you would normally deploy them when you deploy each one apart from your main dps you want to do their E and their Q skill. The only character I would not recommend you do their Q skill for is the Traveler. Unless you're dealing with small enemies. If you're going to deal with a bigger enemy like the one I'm going to showcase at the ending of this video. Then you want to do only their E skill. So I will 
So this team, just copy the layout. It's Amber first, Traveler next, Kaya next, Lisa next. After that, I, I think you're pretty much set for the missions that you're going to meet. My hint for you is try to do your elemental reactions as much as possible. This is good practice for you to do them. If you believe that um, Amber's Baron Bunny takes way too long to pop, then what you can do is simply just do a charge attack instead. Just do a charge attack that will set them on fire and then you can continue the process. So, our, so right now the video will cut to me doing the showcase of this team against an enemy that will not die very easily and i will see you there now pay now do bear in mind i'm not going to do a lot of damage in this showcase because as you can see the levels of my characters are extremely very low i did not know that i had not leveled them up and i went ahead to level up these two guys so that was my mistake but what i will do is that i'll try to Put some reasonable stats on them also because for this showcase I will use these weapons that I chose but let me preface this and say when the quest is over when this quest you're about to go to is over you will get this weapon it's called Harbinger of Dawn this is the weapon that I want you to try and max out or at least get to level 15 then you would put that weapon on your main DPS and then switch the other one to your second sword user if you have a second sword user but for this showcase I will use this weapon for a little shock. Blitz. No one escapes my sight. Windblade. Oh, so sorry. Try not to enjoy this too much.
click the video in the end screen of this video to move on to the next part.